Hello everyone. I used to wonder how this artificial intelligence like ChatGPT, self-driving cars and the personalized ads, how they actually works. Behind the scenes, it all depends on this super powerful chip, the AI chips designed specifically for the AI industry. Well, AI is not new, so in this video, we are going to dive into uh, the recent AI boom, who are the main players in this AI chip industry, and the surprising role that Japan played in this industry. Alright, let's get started. Well, as we all know, artificial intelligence has been a recent trend. It is not a new thing. Back in 2012, it started with the significant importance of AI in recognizing sounds and images uh, and it has advanced a lot in our life. And in recent years, in 2020 and up to now, we are all using AI. With the launch of ChatGPT, even Google has their launch, has launched the Gemini, which has helped a lot in our daily job as well. And moving forward, we do not see that this trend will stop. Indeed, it is estimated the industry will continue to grow at a CAGR of 30% uh, for at least in the next five years. So, so who are the big players in this AI chip industry? So before that, we need to understand there are two different types of uh, AI players. Let's think it as like in the movie industry. So there are chips manufacturers and chips designer. Chip manufacturers are the ones that produce the physical AI chips. Big names like TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor, and Samsung are the main players. They are the ones that produce the chips the supply to the AI designers. So AI designers like NVIDIA, AMD and Intel, they are the innovative ones. Um, so if you think about as a movie industry, AI designer is like the movie creator. They are the one that write the script, they design, they direct the scene and make sure that this movie is produced while AI chips manufacturer they are the movie theaters that make sure that new idea creative idea can be broadcast uh, to show to make them into action and show to the others via the big screen well the interesting question is who are actually the most important or who has a higher earning potential in this AI industry well we understand without AI designer this movie theater they are nothing because they are just there uh, to show nothing but without the ai manufacturer there's no way to uh, put into put the ai blueprint into action to make it into uh, useful applications so both are equally important but usually the movie creators are the one that has the higher earning potential so we can see that even in the past two years the share price of NVIDIA has skyrocketed by 10 times as compared to TSMC as the AI manufacturer. Their share price has uh, only doubled in the past two years. So this manufacturer that depends a lot on the volume and efficiency. Unlike NVIDIA, they are the innovative one, they are the creative one that uh, think of how these AI chips should function together to make it work in the real world. So. AI chips are very important. They are not like the normal computer chips. So they are super fast in processing data. So because of the ton of computing power they have, they need to be designed to be able to process very fast to make the data center work. That's why it is still important to have these AI chips, even for the next few years. As of now, we know that um, even China and US, they are ramping up their manufacturing efforts, trying to make their own chips, but it may take some time, right? So now we are talking about behind the scene. We may not know because Japan, the name of Japan is not in the spotlight. 
during this AI boom. But surprisingly, Japan is the unsung hero in this industry. They are the backbone, they are the actual supplier of this semiconductor supply chain. So it's not new. We know that Japan is known for their technology many, many years ago. Japan uh, is the one that produce it's the one that supply the key materials, equipment uh, to the AR chips manufacturer like TSMC. So there are the names like uh, Tokyo Electron, Sony that supply the important component to make the chip equipment that TSMC can use. They also have extended the partnership with TSMC. So earlier of the year, because of the high chips demands, TSMC has already started their first plants uh, in Japan earlier of the year, and they also have announced to set up the second and the third plant in Japan to continue to produce more AI chips because of the global demand. So there will be a growing important role of Japan to play in the AI chips industry. Even though they are not in the spotlight, they are the one that play the most important role behind the scene. And comment below with your thought. How do you think about this AI industry, the chip industry? Personal view, I believe that this uh, trend will continue for the next few years. Although uh, some may think that uh, the stocks are overvalued, but because of the increased demand and we can see the trend will not stop and NVIDIA has also trying to launch the better uh, platform. So it, it will be more potential in, in the next few months. Yeah. But I may be wrong. Please comment below to share your thoughts and with our audience. Thank you very much for watching this video. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hi. So that's the town. Okay, if you find this video helpful, please give us a like, comment below to share your thoughts with us and our audience. Do consider to subscribe to our channel to continue to support us as we will be posting more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you.